Typically, when you get on a motorcycle, the temperature will feel about 10 degrees colder than the actual temperature out there. And I know we're seeing a lot more bikes out there as we now are in the month of May. But keep safety top of mind. Let's go to Mike and find out more about that. Thank you so much. Well, we are definitely looking at increased temperatures by the end of this week. It might even become stormy. And let's take a look at our short-term forecast. For those of you who are complaining about the temperatures and you're saying, oh, when's it going to warm up? It could be a lot worse. Could be Calgary. About temperatures getting warmer and dealing with possibly some storms, it can't be all that bad, right? Well, we have a couple of low-pressure systems coming together that by the end of this week, Thursday and Friday around the GTA, could become stormy. Saturday, the low pressure system moves away. We get a bit of a break there. But overall, let's take a look at our seven day forecast to give you an idea of what's expected. The temperatures are slowly beginning to climb. 20 degrees on Friday in Toronto. We have put a thunderstorm icon in there. It's possible that we may change that to include a thunderstorm icon on Thursday. So our meteorologist behind the scenes definitely taking a close look at this because there is now that our low pressure system is over the Great Lakes Basin, we are in the wheelhouse now of the potential of storms. Let's check in with Kevin down at the Burlington Pier and see what it's like. Yeah, have it handy because we may see some active weather, certainly with our warm front now having pushed over us. Uh, we did see some showers with that. It's not all day rain, so where we've come <laughs> and how, how May has already transpired, but definitely looking at some, some milder air with this low pressure system. So off it goes on Saturday. There is a cold front here. The warm front then extends off into the Atlantic provinces with rain. And then we get another low pressure system. Some uh, we're definitely looking at this one to see its impact on us as we head into next week. But right now we're just concerned with this system. We have had the warm front push over. Put on the thunderstorm icon for you for today and into Friday a.m. The warm front may result in some stormy weather to the northeast primarily. And more force of nature coming up throughout the hour. We do have fair conditions today. Great day to head to the park with the kids, and that's exactly where we find Kasha at the park. Well, there is the risk of storms. Thank you, Kasha, for setting that up because we do look at the rainfall through Saturday morning, resulting in some localized regions there up toward Algonquin Park of, uh, say, 20 to 40 millimeters because of the warm front. But now we're talking thunderstorm risk. Today through Friday in the morning, the risk is north of the GTA, and the severe risk for Friday is also north of the GTA up toward the Georgian Bay District. We'll watch for some lightning and some strong winds throughout this region and also the potential for storms in the Niagara area. This Thank you so much for that, Kim. Some great videos, as always, looking at today's weather forecast. We do have that easterly wind off of Lake Ontario, which also helps to keep down the risk of storms, in, in fact, because of the cooler temps near the lake shores. But look at down toward the southwest. Windsor, humid X of 34 expected today as that warm front continues its progression to the east. By the time we get to Friday, nearly everyone is included. Kitchener, Waterloo, even Toronto, going to feel like the mid to high 20s. It'll be warm, it'll be hot, sticky, humid, and with that, the potential of storms too. Our low pressure system does have a warm front that extends off into Atlantic Canada, and there's the cold front that does dissipate, moves out over the Atlantic Ocean eventually, and then our next low takes shape. That will be the story for next week. For the time being, though,